Welcome to Visual Stager. Today we're going to be talking about how to stage your first house. So in order to stage your first house, we're going to have to get familiar with the interface of Visual Stager. On the top left, you'll find your Applications menu and the New House button. And on the bottom left is where your account settings, support, and credits are. In this tutorial, we're going to start with making a new house. So let's click on New House. And the only information that's required is the name. The other fields are used in other features of the software that we will cover in a separate video. For this video, we'll name our house 123 Elm Street. We'll click Save. And your house details are saved. So as you notice, there aren't any photos here yet. So what you're going to have to do is upload photos by clicking the button in the middle. And in this folder, I have a lot of photos of houses. So we're going to click on one and upload it. Once you've uploaded your photo, click on it, and we'll press New Scene. When you click New Scene, Visual Stager navigates to the straightening step. This ensures that all the vertical elements of the photo are parallel to each other. There are two lines each with two handles, and the handles can be dragged either with your mouse or the arrow keys. Pick a feature on the photograph where the contrast is highest and easiest to spot. In this example, we're going to use the window and the door frame. Use your arrow keys if needed to be precise. When you click on the handles, black dashed lines appear. Use them to confirm that all the other vertical elements are aligned. Click Next. At this point, Visual Stager is straightening the image. Confirm that all vertical elements are looking straight. Now, on to calibrating. The calibrating step has two panels. Our goal here is to align the panels with the walls. The wall on the left and the wall on the right. Here, we'll position the red line on the bottom where the wall meets the ground, and the orange line on top where the wall meets the ceiling. Our goal here is to get the green and blue line to match up. These lines also indicate the height in which the photo was shot. And again, Visual Stager works best with photos that are shot at eye level, around 4.5 to 5 feet. Once everything lines up, the Start Staging button should turn green. Click Start Staging. 10 credits will be deducted once you start staging. To start staging, you're going to have to press the plus button on the right. And since we're doing a bedroom, We'll click on Bedroom, find a bed set that you like, we'll click on it, and add it to the room. And if the item is too big for the room, hold the Control key and you can scale it to the right size. But it's not properly aligned, and the best way to align your object is to hold the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and rotate it to the proper angle. And here it is. Next we're going to add accessories such as wall art. Let me go into the plus sign, any room, art, and find a painting that I like. So I like this. I'm going to press plus. And what you want to do here is align the black line on the bottom with the floor. And as we mentioned earlier, to rotate, you hold the op or Option key and rotate it. In order to bring it down, you hold the Shift key, click on it, and drag it down. Now it's in the right position. But as you notice, the wall art is too big. So what we're going to have to do is hold the Control key and scale it to the right size. And there it is. If you're happy with what you have, navigate to the top left and press save. If you'd like to download it, navigate to the top left as well and click download. The application menu changes based on where you are in the program.
On the Houses page, the application menu only shows a new house. When you select the house, the application menu changes. Similarly, when you select the photo, the menu shows actions that are related for that photo. And finally, when you are editing a scene, the application menu shows actions such as download and remove watermark that can only be accessed when you are editing a scene. If you still have any questions, click on the question mark on the bottom and press support and send us an email at support at visualstager.com. Happy staging!